Well, how do there, Jams to Zion, Captain Stephen. Today I've got myself a lovely cup of tea, people in the viewer verse, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about No Man's Sky. And this is sort of my wish list of things to come into No Man's Sky in the very near future. Anyway, let's uh, have a little sip of this. Nice one. So, this isn't speculation or anything like that. This is just sort of what I would like to see come to iteration this year. Now, I already did one of these prior to Christmas, but since we've had two updates now that have been very similar in sort of vein, and also we've got other stuff coming up which might sort of, well, give us an idea of what's to come anyway. Anyhow, let's jump on over into game where I talk about all this sort of shenanigans. Let's head on over firstly to my settlement, people in the view of us. So here we go, your bases. It makes sense why I'm going to my settlement in a moment. Yes, I have called my settlement Wisconsin. There is a story behind all of that. If you want to see the story behind all of that, I'll put a video up there. And go watch that, the trailer for No Man's Sky, Wisconsin. May as well turn off the view counter because this is not live. This is a premiere. I guess it is. Anyway, might as well make myself a little bit larger on the screen while I'm jumping over there. So yeah, so what did I mean by we might have an idea of what's to come? Well, before Christmas, Hello Games actually said on to us that they were going to be doing a PSVR 2 update alongside an iOS update in 2023. Well, we've had the PSVR update, haven't we? Yes, we have, but we have not yet had the iOS update. So what could that mean in the way of an update, people in the view of us? Well, I've arrived located over at my settlement. Now, as you know, settlements are not available on the Nintendo Switch. Heck no, they're not. Now, considering that the expedition that we just ran, the, uh, was it, Utopia, the actual badge for that almost looked like a settlement of kind. I mean, I thought it looked like a pirate ship inside of space. However, I have watched Kanaju's video. If you haven't seen Kanaju's video, I'll put a link up there. Because he points out that it might not be a pirate ship at all. Heck no. He's likened it to just being a piece of art. Which I did say is it Hello Games just being arty, because I thought that was plausible anyway. But the way that he actually found it inside of some previous box art was freaking genius. So can I do well done on that one. I'm liking that. Pretty darn nice. Now, another thing at the settlements that hasn't been fixed for ages is you can talk to the technology agent this side of the desk, interact with him just fine. You can purchase stuff off of him and things like that. You go to the side, talk to him from the side. Lovely jobly. Yeah, all good. He works fine. Go around this side though and talk to him. And it used to be broken as fudge. And it still is broken as fudge. <laughs> You don't get the menu to get back out. Yeah, he's going to drive me freaking insane. You have to exit your game. <laughs> There's no other way around it. Okay, so I'm coming out of game. Now, they haven't fixed that glaring, obvious issue for freaking eons. And there's other things inside the settlements that they haven't fixed. If you build a base too close to it, sometimes it can make your settlement sink, which can be really freaking weird and really freaking annoying. But they haven't fixed that either. There's lots of little things about settlements that they just haven't bothered fixing. And I'm wondering whether that's because they can't bring it over to Nintendo Switch. So if they can't bring it over to Nintendo Switch as is, how could they rework the settlements to bring it to Nintendo Switch? And even and better yet, how the fudge are they going to bring this over to iOS for that matter? I mean, I don't know what iOS devices this is going to run on. Is it going to be running on the latest Apple Mac hardware? Or is it just like the old iPads? Who freaking knows? We need to see what the tech spec is for the iOS version of No Man's Sky. I just find it very odd that it hasn't actually appeared as yet, considering it's on Switch, it's on PSVR, and they did say that they were going to be putting it over to iOS, yet it's gone very quiet on the old iOS front. Anyways, what do I think might be inside of the iOS update if they do bring it to iOS? Well, just like what we've had with PlayStation VR 2 and also Nintendo Switch, I think it could be a very lackluster, contactless lackluster update. Just basic bones, in it goes, few quality of life enhancements, maybe a few UI changes, things that make sense to, you know, that sort of platform, and that's probably about it. Which would make three updates in a row, people, that have been very similar in content type, where it's just bringing it to new hardwares. So that makes me think, well, what about this year's big update? Are they going to go back to how they used to do things in yesteryear? Are they just going to check out one massive update? 
could it be the final update? Could it be the cherry on the freaking cake? Is what I'm wondering, people. So, yeah, when it comes to my wish list of things that I want to see them bring into the verse, everybody knows that I want to see a lot more variety brought into No Man's Sky and a lot more reason to jump back in and play later inside of game. Here you go, I'm back inside of game now, people, anyways. Yeah, so we have been given a lovely new ship, but it's just a lovely new ship. As soon as you've tooled it out and you've got it where you want stat-wise, that's it. You've, you've got your ship. That's pretty much it. Fractal has, hasn't really delivered much in, in way of content. It's just brought in another way to sort of think about playing. And that's where it comes to the catalogue, and we've got the Wonders page. You can see there, I've got, what, 16 of 66 Wonders to catalogue. However... I did have the Fauna page nearly completed when I first fired this up. If you watch my Wonders catalogue, episode 1, I definitely had the largest aquatic life form. It's not there. It's freaking disappeared. A load of my creatures have disappeared. In fact, I've spotted a couple more that have disappeared. I had a couple from my um, my random portal adventures. They had some of my, my content creator names in there. No, and my visitors to my live streams, they're gone. They're freaking gone. So I think this page itself is slightly broken anyway. And I know that we've had a round of patches and things like that now. I mean, I was half going to go and visit a couple of my other bases just to see if I could spot any other issues. Hey, look at that. So that's actually floating now. I think my settlement has moved a couple of foot because that's a bit freaking weird, isn't it? But this is what happens if you build bases, sometimes too close to a settlement. Sometimes they can hover or they can sink by about a metre or so. But it makes all the difference when you're trying to go through doorways and you get stuck on the dang thing. But at the moment, there is quite a lot of bugs inside of No Man's Sky. If I go over to my videos inside of No Man's Sky and filter the comments to bugs or issues, there's quite a few. So the, the, the common ones I'm seeing is Phase 3, the scanning of fauna, oh, flora, sorry, on the actual expedition seems to be a bit broken. If you've scanned any plants in Phases 1 or 2, then you can't complete Phase 3. It's one of the bugs that I've been seeing quite a lot. Another thing that people have been reporting is when they're going into their pets, all of their pets have vanished, including all the ones they got from previous expeditions, and they can't reclaim them again, so they're now gone for freaking good. Which people are pretty upset about that, understandably unset, um, upset about that. And those that are affected that have lost their pets have also seemed to have lost their wingman. <laughs> it's just freaking bad. So yeah, I've had a few people saying, well, that's the last straw for me. They have fixed the settlement NPCs. You can see this little chappy walking around and also the other parving of the other NPCs inside the settlement. You do see a lot more NPCs walking about now. Well, that wasn't the case before. Hey, look, my neutron processor's up inside of there. It was down on this sort of grating before, so that's moved a fair bit. So it looks like my settlement has moved about a fair bit inside of the, this actual update. Very odd. Oh, hello there. I love all this sort of stuff where you can see their, their message bubbles. He's plotting, but what is he plotting? You go to talk to him and then he just says greetings. I really wish that they would give us some sort of missions to actually act out with our settlements and make the settlements a little bit more believable. But I honestly think there's something on the cards when it comes to settlements, which I've been saying for a while, because they kind of have to, to get it to work on Switch. So I don't think that's any sort of jump or, or giant leap into the realms of, OK, this could be happening. Because, yeah, then again, saying that, they actually made it to the Traces of Metal mission is triggered through a Tefes rather than at the actual settlement. So they've just done a workaround or bypass. So maybe they're not. Maybe they're not going to touch it. But who knows? I don't remember this giant freaking cave being here right next to my settlement. Oh, that's pretty darn freaking gnarly, isn't it? Pretty darn freaking cool. I've just got myself a new cave by my settlement, people. Yeah, that definitely wasn't there before. Lovely jubbly. And my settlement used to spawn giant worms every time I loaded in. No giant worms anymore, people. So some things have changed with my settlement. I know Kanadju mentioned there was a few subtle changes with his. So yeah, check your settlements, people. It might be that buildings have changed, layouts have changed. Just don't talk to your market vendors from behind. <laughs> no, don't be doing that. So... Things that I feel that No Man's Sky seriously needs is multiplayer fixing. Because there's so many content creators that like to do in-game events. It's like I wouldn't mind hosting one right now to encourage people to come and show up in all of their new lovely swanky ships that we got from the actual expedition and maybe do a little showcase. I know it's all going to be the same ship, but how cool would that look to have all those ships all parked next to each other? 
However, you know, on PlayStation, we've never had the likes of 32 player lobbies, and the most I've ever got mine up to is about 16, and then it was buggy as fudge, and it seems to be that it's still really buggy. I've been trying to watch Zoo and Ricey do their weekend sort of stuffage, and their sort of meetups, so they're coming across all sorts of issues, people. So until that's fixed, we can't really do too much when it comes to in-game events. And it sort of staggers things with the community. I'm often asked, well, it's like I wouldn't mind helping people out with getting awesome pets back and sharing my pet eggs. But right now, that's, that's quite difficult to do inside of No Man's Sky because of the amount of bugs. And I know that Hello Games have been freaking fantastic in getting a load of bug fixes out there. But the bug fixes that remain from freaking Waypoint are still here now. And it's almost like they're fixing everything but those problems. So either they're not aware of those problems, or, which I can't imagine that they can't be, because I imagine their Zendesk is getting hammered at the moment with multiplayer issues and bugs. And also, I've, I've sent them videos of my weekend missions pretty much every week, saying, no change, no change, no change, it's still buggy, what's going on? <laughs> no answer. But yeah, it, that's, that's really high up on the things that I feel need to actually be fixed this year inside of No Man's Sky. And when I say, are they going to be going back to maybe doing one big update in the year? And the little updates that they're doing throughout the year are just to bring it to new hardware platforms and maybe keep giving us an expedition. I still think we're probably going to get four separate little mini expeditions this year. So there's a redux at the end of the year. I think they quite like that model. So I'd imagine that the iOS is going to bring us another expedition and the iOS update is what I'm thinking and then we'll probably have one more small update that also brings in another expedition and then I'm hoping one massive freaking update and an expedition and then that takes us into the redux for the end of the year but you know the massive big update I wouldn't say until is going to be until the summer of this year so I kind of feel for right now no man's sky in way of content unless you're doing your wonders catalog which I'm hopefully going to be doing is just focusing on my wonders catalog so on Mondays I am trying to do my wonders and get my all my wonders unlocked inside of the NMSA hub and I'm still doing my random portal explorations on a Tuesday so yeah I've still got a lot of content coming to my channel for no man's sky so I do Mondays Tuesdays and Fridays at the moment all live content for No Man's Sky but in the meantime in between all of that I am going to be getting the, no, um, the PlayStation VR 2 and I'm hoping to do a lot of PlayStation VR 2 reviews of games and demos for PlayStation VR 2 um, tweaking settings any sort of updates and patches for PlayStation VR 2 so yeah No Man's Sky is still going to be a massive thing on side of my channel but for a little while, I might be jumping over to doing a lot more PlayStation VR 2 content and looking at what might be coming to PlayStation VR 2 and how that might sort of evolve. Because I honestly think VR is probably a future branch of gaming in a roundabout way. But I also think AI and procedural generation also could be the future of gaming. I've done a whole video on um, AI and all that sort of shenanigans. I'll put it up there. It's well worth a watch. Thank you. Yeah, it's a virtual dungeon master. You know, anyway, people, I think I've rabbited on enough, but that's kind of what I think is going to happen this year, or at least that's my sort of wish list for this year. I mean, yes, it's sort of speculation, but it's it's kind of I'm trying to look at patterns and the fact that there isn't really any patterns for this model of year because it's coming to iOS, PlayStation VR 2, came to Switch, came to three platforms in a relatively short space of time. And I'm kind of thinking they're going to let those bed in and then chuck out a cherry on top of the cake is what I'm thinking, people. Well, that's that's my thinking let us know what you think inside of the video comments hit us up and um, i might even do something over on my community tab and might follow this up with another video based on all of your responses on the community tab so go check out my community tab i'll put a link in the video description if i do until next time people you guys have been freaking awesome i'm gonna go drink my tea have a good one take care goodbye goodbye and goodbye again